Welcome to Dr. Piercy's Guessing Game Design Models for the MVC version. In this video, we'll think before programming. Doing this, we'll plan the components that we will need to build our guessing game using one or more servlets to handle the controller concerns and JSPs to handle the view concerns. Once again, we see our workflow style model where the initialize the game happens on the server side where we set the random target and initialize other values. On the client side, the client will see a form where they can enter their first guess. Once the guess is entered and the button is clicked, a request is sent back to the server where it will compare the guess. Based on the comparison, it will need to make one of three decisions. Is it the guess too low? Is it too high? Both of those are in the case that it's incorrect or if it's just right, it being correct. Depending on the results of the comparison, we'll either display a message telling them how to guess next, either lower or higher, and the form for the new guess. But if they get it correct, we're going to display some type of message that says they got it correct and how many guesses it took. Our wireframes will not change much because this is what the user's going to see. For them, a change from JSP version to servlet version to MVC version should be transparent. All the views are going to look exactly the same to them. What changes is how we're handling things on the server side. We have three different views in this application, so possibly we should use three different JSP files to handle those views. Here we see the components we're going to make for our MVC version of the guessing game. We're going to continue using index.jsp to initialize the game and set the random target. We could, if we wanted to, create a servlet that initializes the game, but let's just keep that quick and easy for now. We'll learn about our servlet and MVC design pattern from the first guess on. A request will then go to the server where a servlet will handle the request as it's supposed to. The servlet will take care of the comparison of the guess with the target and will make a decision. Part of its decision will decide which view needs to be displayed. If the guess is incorrect, either too low or too high, we're going to send control to a JSP called guess.jsp to handle the incorrect guess view. But if the servlet determines that the guess and the target are equal, we're going to send control to another JSP called correct.jsp. So the servlet, in effect, will be controlling which view will be used, but the appropriate view will then take over and make sure that the right things are shown on the client side. So on this page, we see that there are going to be at least four components in this design pattern. Game servlet and guess.jsp will handle the use cases of guesses that are incorrect. Game servlet and correct.jsp will handle the use cases of guesses that are correct. Let's not forget that we have one other component, and that's our game number, our simple plain old Java object, or POJO, that we'll continue to use in this application. For more information about the concepts discussed in this video, please visit the references shown here. This video was written, narrated, and produced by Dr. Craig A. Piercy. The background music is locally sourced by Jason Farnham from the YouTube Audio Collection. This has been a Piercy production.